Will Sherman and San Francisco make an impact on who wins the NFC West? Um, I'm inclined to say yes, even if the fact that it's his absence in Seattle. Uh, I do think that the moves that the Rams and Niners have made have made them the front runners for the NFC West this offseason. But as speaking as like someone who cheers for the Seattle Seahawks, it's uh, a devastating end to an era. And I, as a Seahawks fan, that tip in the 2014 NFC Championship game, that was that year's Super Bowl. And not, you know, blowing the Broncos out of the water. Um, and that is the highlight that I think of first as a Seahawks fan. It's the greatest moment in Seahawks history. And for him to just switch uniforms between those two teams on the field, it is, uh, it is a dagger. And, and while an Achilles rupture is nothing, uh, to, it's, it's something to take very, very seriously and it's hard to recover from, uh, someone as fierce and fiercely intelligent and vengeful as Richard Sherman is somebody to be feared. Yeah, but you, you made a reference to that 49ers game. Sherman at this point is probably mediocre, like he called Matt, Michael Crabtree Oof, back dagger. then. I mean, well, he's, he's past his prime. He could be, he could be watching. Dude, he will come after you, right? No, no, he's a very smart dude, very engaging dude, a great career. That Seattle team maybe is undersold historically because they're compared directly with New England. And I think he can help the 49ers. He's just not the impact player he once was. He has to take on sort of that role of the aging veteran who can help a young team sure. get to the level that they want to be at, not the guy who's going to change it by himself.